Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Amers, it's Luke here and here I am at Silkeborg Stadium where West Ham will be playing on Thursday night at 8 o'clock in the second game of the Europa Conference League group stages. Obviously we won our first game um, against the team formerly known as Stoa Bucharest, a good solid win, professional, not the greatest, not pretty, but we got the points on the board and that's the most important thing about Thursday night is getting the win, getting the points, get through quickly as possible and hoping that, you know, towards the end of the group, hopefully we can play some kids and give them some experience. Um, Super Bowl Danish team in the Super League. Um, they're currently sitting in fifth. They've played nine games. They've won five, drawn one, and lost three, I believe. Yes, that is right. Um, they've won the league a few times out there. This is their first sort of major run in a, a European competition. Um, in their last game um, against Anderlecht, they lost 1-0 um, you know, to a decent team. Arguably the hardest team in this group that we're going to have to face, um, and that will be in a couple of weeks' time. Um, they like, to, uh, like I say, there's not much out there. Again, with, uh, that, that's the problem with this competition. A lot of the teams are really obscure, which means there's not really that much root about them. What I could find, though, is that they do like to play the 4-3-3 formation. Um, their top goal scorer currently is a guy named Helenson. Uh, sorry, Helenius. He's had four goals. Um, and the most assist for them is a guy called Valas, uh, Valles. Um, and they have a guy called Klein who's picked up three yellow cards. So that's one maybe to look out for to run at. Um, like I say, there's not much out there. There really isn't much out there. And, that, that, and again, I, yeah, I find it really hard. So I love reading about the strengths and weaknesses. I love reading about how a team likes to play. But again, there's very, very little out there um, about the Danish league. Um, again, we, we know about the Danish. Obviously, we were there recently with Viborg as well. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Um, in terms of us guys, you know, I think David Moyes knows what his team's going to be for this one. I think we will see Skamaka start again. You know, Again, try to keep him active, try to get him in the goals. Um, hopefully, I would like to see a bit more Paqueta, but obviously we do have Everton at the weekend, so that will be playing into his mind as well. Um, Flynn Downs, hopefully gets some few more minutes. I thought he was fantastic in the style of Bucharest game. Um, next to Weiss, and you know he could, if he keeps putting in performances like that, could be pushing himself for a Premier League start. Um so, yeah, obviously, Ogbonna as well. Hopefully, we'll start this game as well with Kura uh, to get a few minutes. I'm not sure how close Dawson is now. Um, Emerson will probably start this game as well. Ariola picks himself, and then, you know, the players around him, Fornells, Lanzini, who will he go for? Um, I think we'll win this game. Um, I think our confidence will just, you know, keep growing as the games go on, hopefully, and, you know, eventually it will start to click and it did start to click a little bit in the second half of the, the FC I say Star Bucharest because it's easier to say than FC SB FC um, so yeah hopefully you know we're due to you know have a real good game and a good performance not just a you know not just a solid win but a good an actually good performance you know not a struggle to watch because the games recently have been a real struggle to watch um, but yeah like I say hopefully we get the win and get the job done um, and that's all we can hope for. Um, just on some other news, guys, because I was going to make a separate video, but I thought, you know what, let's just chuck it in this one. So if you have stuck with the video to the end, um, apparently we're very close to signing a guy called Zagadu. Yep, Zagadu, do, 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 um, well, French born anyway. I'm not sure whether he actually plays for the French team. Um, has has had links to Paris Saint Germain before uh, in his youth career. Um, now out of contract from Borussia Dortmund. So again, we know he was looking at a defender towards the end of the window because we know that probably Craig Dawson will leave in January or if he does stay till uh, next summer, which I very much doubt. Like I said, Zagadu comes in. Um, I would expect Craig Dawson to leave very, very early in the window in January. Um, he's big, he's tall, he's strong. Um, you know, he fits the David Moyes mould in terms of, you know, David Moyes loves players that are over sort of six foot three, six foot four. Um, will he be the starter? I 
doubt it. You know, I think it will be a Gerd and Zuma. Um, but Kerr is definitely pushing in there now as well. Oggy, in it, again, it makes sense. Oggy's last unit contract, we do need to, you know, get those four centre-backs ready for next season as well. But, yeah, Zagadou. Uh, Dan Axel, Zagadou. Go check him out, guys. See what you think about him. Um, and that's about it, guys, really. Um, until I do my review of the game. Um, and obviously build up to the Everton game at the weekend. But, yeah, let's look forward to it. Nice to have some football back. Uh, what, what did we do before football? If you don't like football, what do you do? I'd love to know what you guys do because I was so bored the weekend without the football. Anyway, guys, thank you for staying loyal to the channel. Until next time, come on, your minds. Keep believing. Let's go.